Hi, this is episode 83 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. If you're in the enterprise application space, sooner or later, you're going to be asked, what is multi-tenancy? It's a big word. However, thankfully, it's quite straightforward. A dead simple explanation of multi-tenancy is that it's a software architecture pattern where a single application instance is utilized by multiple customers at the same time. If you've never used enterprise software before, this concept may seem kind of like a no-brainer. However, it's common for businesses to utilize a single tenant approach. As you may guess, single tenancy is where an application has a single customer. The easiest way to understand the difference between multi-tenancy and single tenancy is by looking at a diagram of both options. Applications that leverage multi-tenancy allow multiple customers to access the same application server and database. This is in contrast to applications that utilize single tenancy. Single tenancy applications are structured so every customer gets their own server and database. Most of the time, these servers and databases are hosted by the customers themselves, which gives the customer complete control over the entire system. Developers and system architects have varied opinions on multi-tenancy. However, I don't believe one option is really better than another. As with most development concepts, I like to let the circumstances determine the implementation. Let's take a look at the enterprise accounting sector as a case study. One of the largest ERP providers in the world is NetSuite. NetSuite has a cloud-based application that leverages multi-tenancy. Customers, large and small, all around the world utilize their system and it works quite well. Every customer on the system connects to the same server and the same database setup. This type of solution works well for organizations with small IT teams. However, there are circumstances where selecting single tenancy is preferred. The enterprise software giant SAP has made billions of dollars by selling their software to companies that typically prefer single tenancy. These companies like knowing that they can install the software on their own systems and have 100% control of how they work. I hope that this has been a helpful guide and will help you answer the question of what is multi-tenancy?